Hello, darklings, lightlings, and everybody in between. How are you today? Well, I hope. So in this video, we are going to go a bit deeper with the alchemy and the things I'm learning through working with the Zazel. And we're going to talk about the seven steps of alchemy and transforming the spirit as well as the physical. So get ready and uh, get comfy. to thank a lot of the new subscribers I got and all the others that have been subscribed, the OGs and supporting me. I really appreciate it. I'm going to try to make it to 2000 by uh, next summer. So that's a goal for me and I'd really appreciate it if you helped me achieve that goal and hit subscribe if you're not already. So let's get into it. Seven steps of alchemy. Azazel whispered to me after my activation and if you've been following me on this channel for a while you'll know that a group of friends and I have been uh, talking about our experiences with these activation dreams and receiving new information and channeling since we uh, began this activation experience and uh Something about this activation is opening up more doorways and paths as I go further in my communication with Azazel in these darker entities. Because I feel this is so important in any practitioner, but especially a dark practitioner's path and growth, I'm directed at the seven steps of alchemy and how the demons are helping the growth or the change in my path towards enlightenment. Our bodies alone are made up through alchemy, and our spirits go through these changes. Through each path working, we've already established the shadow work that these entities can hijack for you. Through this, I believe my alchemical transformation through these seven steps are next. Not only do we obtain knowledge and abilities while working with these entities, but they help transformation and ascension as well. The alchemist supports the goal of reaching the enlightenment through the seven processes of alchemy. The great work initiates a mutation on the elements from its original state into a new being or a new state. So how many of us can say that we are the same person that we were five years ago? Or what about 10 years ago? What about before you first started your path or your journey? We are constantly changing and growing through this process, but approaching these steps in my path with Azazel is unlocking hidden things about my DNA and the possibilities of what I can become. So let's talk about these steps. One is calcination. Two is dissolution. Three, separation. Four, conjunction. And five, fermentation. Six, distillation. And seven, coagulation. We talked about the process of some of these steps in my Descent into the Abyss video, which I will be putting up there if you are interested in watching that before this video. So let's go a bit deeper into these ideas. The first step, calcination, the beginning stage, which I admit I believe Beelzebub put that um, in motion for me for the overall transformation. 
but uh, that's what I'm talking about here. Um, even though each working I do with each entity I feel has a lesser transformation through that path working, a death and rebirth process, there's also the overall transformation of the spirit, right? <laughs> but now I am able to identify all of this. To calcinate, we burn away the old self until it is ashes, the false identity of the ego. We have to burn it from our inner selves with our inner flames. This is crucial to truly know thyself and have the spirit mature for a step up in our level of spiritual growth. Through this process, I was broke down into nothingness and lost in the dark abyss just to find myself and rise up out of it as the phoenix. 2. Dissolution In this step, we are recharging our interior. We recharge every cell in us and open up more energy channels spiritually. Meditation is great and crucial during this process as well. We discover dissolution of the parts into a fluid. We see the perception more accurately that all things within us or created is the same primitive substance as we are. Total immersion of the subconscious allowing us to see ourselves. 3. Separation Division of emotions and thoughts are acquired in this process. Separation of the elements allow us to see them more clearly. Therefore, we see ourselves more clearly. The nature and shape is exposed to us. This manifestation dissipates the illusion of ignorance. This helps us see or identify our authentic feelings and self. Here, the serpent reveals a light of reality. It may hurt our eyes at first, but it will illuminate our paths. For me, this is the essence of the serpent. 4. Conjunction The separated elements must find a new combination to find balance. The masculine and feminine principles are significant for every human and their physical and spiritual lucidity. The conjunction provides unity for the sun, which is the masculine, and the moon, the feminine, which is the improvement and evolution of the spiritual self. This step is particularly why I did the Anima Anonymous video. That too will be up here if you are interested in watching that. And in that video, we talk about how important it is to merge the masculine and the feminine inside of us, right? And it goes a lot further and deeper than that, but. We all carry both. And when it is balanced inside of us, it creates a perfect alchemical union of harmony. This alchemical union is the balance of our perfect self. Number five, fermentation. We have seen some extreme occult references when it comes to this process or step in Hollywood films. But one must ask themselves, what is behind this symbolism? Examples would be in the TV show Salem, if you've seen it, when Anne Hale accidentally kills her parents when she comes into her power and then is greeted later by an ancient powerful witch which states to her, we all must kill our parents, it is the way. Another example is the film, The Covenant. When the father ages, then he must will his sorcerer's son his power before dying. Dramatic examples, yes, but the symbols of this alchemical process indeed. Fermentation is a metaphor for pregnancy as well. There are two parts to this process. First, the putrefaction. It takes the mother and the father. The matter breaks down and decomposes. 
They die so the child can be reborn. Their bodies become the fertilizer for the seed to grow. When we experience this phase, our consciousness confronts the dark side. The second stage is when the child is born, the essence of the divine spirit from above is merged with the matter below. Through this growth, we discover ways to improve spiritually and physically. Number six, distillation. Boiling the elixirs to increase the purity. In this process, the bitter things become sweet. This is a final purge before enlightenment takes place. With no impurities left, the environment for spiritual apotheosis is attained. This is talking about the impurities of things like vanity or the ego poisoning our minds if we let it overtake. 7. Coagulation. The perfect substance is found and formed. In a physical way, we observe a fluid state change into a thickened mass. This is a metaphor for the elevated self or the integration to the higher self. Maturity is achieved and the mind, body, and spirit are at a perfect balance between themselves. We truly become free from the mind and our consciousness can connect the spirit and the soul in perfect harmony. This is the rebirth of a new being. Now I believe each demon I work with sends me through the death and rebirth stage constantly, consistently. Through each working, I grow through these stages, but in different perspectives. Each path working brings a different perspective of these phases and these death and rebirths. One door is discovered and it leads to a larger hallway of many doors. Each door I unlock while working with each demon is teaching me something new to improve thyself through many perspectives of the spirits. With this new DNA activation, I believe it holds the key for me to go deeper and further and discover more about this. I'm very anxious to see where this takes me and how far I can go with it. And I'm very anxious to share it with you guys. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, do you believe that you have experienced this? Until next time, much love.